Okay, start recording. Press that button. That looks good. I think we're good. And I should be on camera. Four. One, two, three, four. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native, just sounds that way. I'm uh, 80 years old. And uh, today is. What is today? Today is the 10th of February. Monday late in the evening. I was going to make a video earlier and had gear problems and when I got it fixed I saw the lighting. I thought, oh, just go ahead and the night lighting. You can see my place in the evening. I keep forgetting what camera I'm on. Three. One, two, three. You guys there. Uh, so I thought in these days while the fur, Donald Trump, is seizing the American government, uh, I take a few moments to call out to my American viewers, stand up, your country is being seized and Canada up north here, us guys, we guys, we're in danger too, if you guys go down, we're screwed too. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a, a little bit of physics insights and give you a couple of my ideas and then not talk too long. So I just looked at the clock, it's past 10.30. Now, back in 1929, camera two, one, two. Back in 1929, uh, an astronomer, Edwin Hubble, uh, with the new telescopes they had been building, observed that the universe seemed to be expanding. And uh, because of that, the concept of Big Bang Theory came, was introduced, uh, which is a, a terrible, uh, terrible sort of a theory, and really, really uh, serious kinds of uh, theorists and researchers, they don't pay that, they think, you know, there may have been some sort of bang, but yeah, that doesn't work. And I'm going to give you a quick reason why that doesn't work. Um, tracking it back, it would appear that everything began about three to four billion years ago and it just doesn't make sense. You're always asking what came before. That's why the whole idea of God creating a universe doesn't, why it came about is like you don't have to explain God, oh really? Uh, and having a beginning it's well, what came before. You have to get it in your head there never was a before. It's always been. It's just so big, it's infinite, all that way, that way, that way, that way. It goes like forever and ever and ever and ever. The question is, is it empty or does, is there stuff in it? And if there's nothing in it, what is the repercussion of nothingness? By definition, it's nothing. Um, so Butchie Poo, really quickly, is going to say his concept is, um, part of it is, is the universe is divided into two types of reality, that which exceeds the speed of light, which is matter, and that which is slower than the speed of light, which is everything else. Um, you could make an argument for reversing that. It doesn't matter, but uh, I will try to explain that quickly. So if you get into, what camera am I on here? One, 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 one. I'm on camera one. You, right there? Okay. Um, when you try to figure out what's going on with the universe, um, you have to wonder, well, what's it made of? And is it made of more than one thing? Well, it works out. Everything should be able to boil down to one thing. And in quantum physics, uh, and even in particle physics, they solve that by everything does one of two things. It either turns left or it turns right. So immediately, even if you have only one thing, you immediately created two. And you can run with that, and everybody does, uh, for all kinds of reasons. But because this is already getting very long, and you're probably bored, what the hell is he talking about? This is a box of ping pong balls. Am I on the right camera? I think so. And you can see they're all touching each other, right? And you can see those diamond-shaped spaces in between. 
Now, if you got down to the tiniest of the tiniest of the tiniest of the tiniest of, you know, of like what the world's made of, you see those? Um, you're going to come to the smallest of the small sooner or later. And if the universe were wall to wall, just one thing, somethingness, having all these little balls turns it into having a whole bunch of other things, its parts. Because it can't really do it. If it's just one big lump, one thing, it can't really do anything. And the beauty of balls is that technically it has only one surface. You never, you can walk in any direction and sooner or later you'll always come back uh, to where you began. Uh, so let's look at that just for a second. And what else can I tell you to get you to start thinking about the smallest of the small without getting into a whole lot of things. A butch says that gravity is push, not pull. Uh, gravity is an extraordinarily weak force. Let's try to the camera here. One, two, three. This one over here. And uh, why that is, is getting back to the balls. Remember the balls? They're all touching each other. They want their space. Like, give me my space. And they're not getting any, but if one moves, every other ball has to move with it. And the only difference is how they were touching. So the ones above and below, if it spins left and right like that, then the ones above and below will have to do that too. And the ones on each side will have to turn. And, and this will spread out energy in all directions. And before you know it, you have an energy wave motion. And the beauty about a wave is it can be here and there uh, sort of at the same time because it goes up and down in its pressure. I'm just trying to get you thinking about stuff and I'm not making a huge long video. So Butch says those tiny particles are all, they're looking for room and they're not getting it. And I had a whole lot of other things I want to tell you. And I've lost something I'm looking for because it's really spectacular when you see it. So these guys, these guys are little balls. They want room. They're pushing out. And um, the other thing I wanted to bring up before I shut up is remember those spaces in between? Butch says that the balls are traveling faster than the speed of light. And they're traveling at 4 thirds pi c cubed uh, speed, which is the formula for the volume of a you know, I put stuff out and then I lose it. I'm such a ditz. Where'd you go? I had an example thing here for you. Oh well. Four thirds pi c cubed is the formula for the volume of a sphere where the radius is the speed of light. What it means is if there were, if in relativity, if you were, I'm on the right camera here, if you were observing I have to look at my monitor to see what's going on. If you were observing what was going on, this is you, right here, and you're observing, you're seeing things at the speed of light, because that's the only, that's as fast as it can get to you. But what's going on in here is four-thirds pi c cubed, faster than light. So it means that if there is a, a, a node in a wave of energy, it can be everywhere inside this sphere everywhere, all at once, at the same time, as far as you're concerned, because it's traveling so fast that by the time the information gets to you, it looks like a sphere. The beauty of spheres is if they spin fast enough, they, they flatten out, and, and theoretically they could develop a hole in the middle and become a donut, which leads to the idea of string theory. So I think I've talked long enough. Um, I want, oh, the other thing is why a sphere is a smaller shape. I think I covered that, it only has one surface. But if you have, you, you might think, oh, well, uh, am I on the right camera here? Why can't it be like a tetrahedron? 
Well, it's got all these pointy things, and it just becomes too complicated. Uh, but before I leave you, I'll show you something neat. Let me see. Let's try on camera one. Let's try camera one. Oh, that'll work. Inside every cube, if I open up this cube, you can put a tetrahedron. Do you want to try it on another camera? Camera two. So inside every cube, you can place a tetrahedron. Let's go over to uh, camera three. See this? Every in, inside a cube, you can put a tetrahedron. Now, if you take two tetrahedra, if, if I took another one of these in the other way, and put them over top of each other, you come up, it's called a Star of David, or a Merkava Star, and I don't have one out here to show you. But inside every cube, you can place a Merkaba star. And the Holy of Holies is a cube, 20 cubits by 20 cubits by 20 cubits, as is the Kaaba. Well, it used to be. The Kaaba has been rebuilt so many times, it's a bit, it's not quite a cube anymore. Uh, but it's very interesting that the Kaaba in Mecca is a cube, and the Holy of Holies, both the first and second temples, were also cubes. And that the Jewish people have such a reverence for uh, the Merkava star, which is a, a star of David in three dimensions. Okay, I've talked long enough. Um, hope you found this interesting. Uh, I'm wearing a pair of, uh, what am I wearing? Muscle skins. And the hat comes from uh, Orc Industries, which is a supplier for the U.S. Navy. They hire handicapped people. Um, and they're an the official U.S. Navy supplier. I'll leave the address below. If you live outside the USA, get a a free mail forwarding address from chipsy.com or one of those kind of places. Um, fake pearls are uh, from Muyan. I'll put that in the description below too if you like that kind of thing. I think I'm on the right. Let me see. You? You. I'm on your camera. See, it's very hard for me to keep track of all this. That's why I'm doing it. I'm trying to get better. I thought I'll just number the cameras and remember where I am. And, I like making videos, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go back to, let's try camera two here, and say bye-bye from Butch. Um, I think I told you I'm not well. I just make videos, something to do. I'm an artist in the physics, and some of you come to see me, and I, I'm trying to make you learn some things as well. Don't waste your time. So that was camera two. Let's try camera one. Number one. Okay. This has all been very interesting. Now I gotta go over to here. I'm recording in open broadcast uh, in open broadcast uh, studio. It's a I'll put that in the link too. Uh, it's freeware. It's streaming and recording and it's a pretty good system once you figure it out. It's a little confusing at first, but you'll get the hang of it. So I'm gonna press a button here. What camera am I on? I'm on camera one. That's you guys up there. Bye from Butch. I gotta go click.